Hello everyone, this is Strawberry Shorty back with Growing Up. So we are having all sorts of friend problems. Uh, our friends James and Nathan are having trouble at home. And uh, Nathan just got sent to the principal's office. James has fallen in with the really bad crowd. Buddy we don't seem to care much about. We mostly focus on James. And our parents are still expecting things of us, though not at this not at this moment. I don't want to cut fish. This is drama. Oh my gosh, more knowledge stuff. I feel like we're gonna end up having to do the the bones to get anything out of the empathy category. <laughs> no, like we got we got these separately, so like, what is this? Oh, continue playing, so I guess we just play. I guess we just get more... together one last time, celebrating the end of middle school and of course the coming of high school. There's general excitement in the air. High school is when things get real after all. Jake, uh, Jake, not James, we'll call him James. Jake casually chats with you with the air of anxiety of a man afraid of his future. Think it's anything like on TV? All those sitcoms make it seem like high schoolers are almost superheroes or something. I'll say TV's rarely realistic. TV rarely seems realistic. I assume it'll be nothing like that. Yeah, I don't think so either, which honestly kind of sucks. It's just... Jake stares off at the horizon for a few seconds too long. Eventually it's too long. What is it? You wouldn't get it. What's that supposed to mean? Just that you don't have... I don't know, you're kind of a narc. Hey, I didn't rat you out despite all the stuff you did. Hey! Hey, you're great. Just, you know, you're sort of straight edge. It's cool, just... You wouldn't understand, that's all. He shrugs like that should be the end of it. It's weird, isn't it? Oh, what's weird? How, you know, when push comes to shove, sometimes you're kind of a coward. Like, with that beer thing? I'm not a coward. It's the coward who bought the beer. AK you didn't even buy it. You stole it. I'm not gonna say I'm sorry. I'm gonna say that was serious. That was serious. You could have gone to jail. As if. I'm a kid. Even getting arrested would have been a miracle. You're just scared of life. Jake takes another too long of a pause. Just say it, okay? Whatever it is. I just... I don't think... You wouldn't back me up if I ever really needed it. I'd like to think that when he's older, he'll understand that me trying to talk him out of it was being a good friend and backing him up. Life or death, I don't think you'd be with me. Jake. I mean, I get it. We're not in a war or anything. I just... I don't know. Wish I had more people in my life like that. People I could really trust. Jake. But I don't, not really. I mean, we're friends, don't get me wrong. If you need anything, I'll be there for you. That isn't fair. Yeah, life's not fair. Jake walks off with that, leaving you there. It's the last time you're going to see him before high school. It also definitely feels like it. The weight of the future hangs over both of you. Listen to this, my friend got promoted to manager recently. 
and they're currently looking for part-timers. Sometimes it seems like you know everyone important in the city. I told her you would sign up for a couple shifts. Isn't that great? Don't tell your friends your kid's gonna work a job for you. I'll say, uh, work. Maybe? Uh, what do I want to say? I think I'll say, oh, work. To be honest, there's a lot of things I'd rather do than work. Oh, like study? No, just kidding. I know you have a lot on your plate. But you can make some money and also help my friend with staffing. Of course, it's up to you, but I think it's a good opportunity. This feels like another expectation. Yep, yeah, there we go. Perform kitchen assistant ten times. Why don't you help out a little? Ugh. Parents. Like, I don't mind working, but I also don't want to be forced into it. We even do that now. We do it separately. Here we go. No energy left. Unfortunate. I'm probably gonna have to schedule a bunch. Exams. You understand that, mother? At least we got classic, classic literature next. Though. We're gonna be so unhappy. <laughs> so, more memory. We need joy. Look how, look how depressed we are. No. Oh my gosh. Nathan walking through the park. You see he's headed toward the pond. Hey Nathan, wait up. You're wow, you're fast when you want to be. You don't have to follow me, you know. Should we feed the ducks? I don't have any bread. Bread's not good for them. Oh really? What do you Nathan pulls a bag out of his pocket that contains what look like peas. I always bring peas to the park. A pair of you start to throw peas into the pond. You think the ducks had never eaten? Wow, they really like those peas. Who wouldn't like being looked after a little? I'll ask about the stolen notebook. I'm sorry they stole your writing, Nathan. What did they show the teacher? I know what it means to you. Do you, though, really? As he looks at you, his demeanor changes a little. Shoulders drop. You're the one person who's ever seen my poems because I wanted them to. I know, and it means a lot to me. I think... I think I get it a bit. The monster. It's not literal. I think we all have one. Or some. Maybe, if you can trust me, you can tell me about your yours. Maybe I can help? Nathan drops to a crouch and rubs his arms, despite the warm evening. Maybe I'm the monster. Nathan, you're not a monster. Don't say that. Nathan doesn't reply. He stares at the pond in silence, seemingly making a decision. Thank you. Whatever happens, you've been the best thing about middle school. You're not sure what he means exactly, but you're glad. Oh my gosh, all my friends, I'm worried about them. Okay, let's... We gotta go to the city map. Diner. Eat everything under the sun. I don't have money for a burger. I don't even have the energy points to keep doing this. What are our parents thinking? Thank you. 
museums are coming up too. draws near. The school is buzzing with what's next. For some students, it's a clear path, but you're not so sure for others. Sitting on a bench near the exit is exactly who you're thinking about. Yo. Hey, Nathan. So, slowly Nathan smiles. You better be right about how good that high school is. You mean, we're going to the same school? Looks like. You hold up a hand with a grin, hoping Nathan won't be the hand. He doesn't. A celebratory high five feels good, knowing what Nathan's been through. This is amazing. We get to hang out more at high school. It still blows my mind that you seem happy about that. He laughs. But yeah, it's pretty great. It's nice to know I'll have a friend there. I've been writing a lot. Do I get to read the new poems? They're not really poems. But maybe... He pulls his bag onto his shoulder as you make to leave. Wanna go feed pieces and ducks? Looks like you'll have at least one friend in high school. Yay. Oh, the cafeteria. I need food. Shock with neuron to instantly collect rewards for a random route of nearby neurons. Can I get up here to this? Oh, more energy points, a long last. posture makes a good impression. People care about how you look and the impression you give off, you know. I already stopped. Can you lay off? Sorry, being a parent, no. I don't think any parent would say that. They'd probably get mad at us. And we have to raise our charm. I don't, I don't care what ties into physique. So, let's go to the diner first. Let's try here. We still don't trigger any events with this dude. Before we do anything, we should go and finish up the diner. Thank goodness. Great, we can start having fun. Our parents like us too much. Gotta get 
more memory, but we also have to do charm for our parents. Our goal. Still not ready for exams though. So we only need like one thing of charm. And Nice skills five times? Our parents are horrible. We just got home. Now oh, we, we came to our schedule. We have to do an exam. Well, here we go. 
Seven attributes in a single tap to earn an intuition power up. Intuition collects all neighboring attributes. Oh boy, let's see what we got here. Close to an A, not bad. High school is the final stage in growing up. Once you reach 18 years of age, in the final turn you will face an SAT exam. Your exam results, along with the skills you've learned so far, will determine your future occupation. I know there's DLC, but I don't know what the DLC is. From now on, you'll be able to start romantic relationships with your friends. It'll affect who your future spouse will be. You only really know like two people. In high school, balancing your mental health and your parents' expectations will be difficult. Make good use of your money and pride. Look for useful items in shops or treat yourself to a mental health boosting meal in a diner or restaurant. Press productivity boosters from your parents. Press them to take you on a trip to help your mental health. I forgot all about all of that. New skills available. SAT reading exercises. We gotta go clothes shopping. I gotta get a new fit. Coach assistant. Over oh, here. We're still not playing coach. Well, I guess we'll keep going for memory so we can do SAT stuff. And knife stuff. The brain part's completely useless for cost of valuable brain parts. So put it if you can.
This is kind of a cool outfit. Probably like look into these chairs, trips. China. Spend the rest of the turn on a trip to significantly raise your mental health, intelligence, empathy, and memory. Schedule slot. How about the sooner? Plus ten. Two hundred dollars. study table in the library when a voice calls your name. You realize it's Nathan Pryor, a friend you made in middle school. Apparently he's going by Nate now. My gosh, he's grown up. Hey, Shorty, over here. Wanna sit with me? Let's relive our heady middle school cafeteria days. He gives out a laugh, and then a wince as someone utters a loud shh. Oops. I swear, I'm still new to being told too loud. <laughs> I can imagine. I seem to recall a time when you didn't talk at all. Yeah, well, I had no one worth talking to for a while. Hey, you found it easier here? I don't really need that many people to talk to. You're plenty for me. I'll accept the rule of school friend. I'll do my best to keep you entertained then. For starters, wanna hang out after school today? Nate looks troubled for a moment. Is everything okay? <sighs> Ask me when the dust settles. Dust, in this case, being my parents. And their desire to not have to deal with me. Which is to say, I need to switch where I'm living more often. I'm sorry things are still so hard between them. His parents of his suck. Me too. I hate that I make it harder. Anyways, we can talk about this. I'm sure it's not you who... You're interrupted by a louder shh. <laughs> this time I gotta say I sort of agree with them. You both study in silence for a while. When Nate leaves, you can't help but wonder, as ever, just what does he tend to go home to? Well, we made our parents happy. They're too happy. 
The most important exam of your life is ahead of you. SAT is not only an assessment of the knowledge you acquired in school, but also a major factor in determining your future. So get ready. We're 14 already. We got the library. Well, we don't have any new expectations yet, so let's go to the library. Let's go to the We could guard in here. you're having trouble maintaining your mental health, remember you can increase it with not just entertainment, but also with other methods such as eating meals at the diner or restaurant or asking your parents to take you on a trip. Ugh. Where's the happiness still? We'll do brain math for you. You notice a notebook that has Vivica's eyes only. Do not read under pain of death written on it. Don't read it. I'm not that kind of person. Well, I sort of am. I didn't think, but you know. You decide against reading it. Flipping it over to the back, though, you do see that. Hey, that is not yours. Give that back. Here you go. Don't get all riled up. I'm not riled up. I just don't like people looking through my crap. With the huff Vivica is gone, clutching her notebook to her chest. Hey kiddo, my friend's workplace is a few ships for an intern open if you've got the time. I'll get you some pocket money and some real work work experience. Uh, take your sips. Should I have the time? Why not? That's the way, kiddo. Perform clown ten times, ugh. We need to go to China. Tony happiness. I should probably get food first. I'm trying to go to different locations. I'm not triggering anything now. Oh. Lua Cox, a semi famous indie director, showing off his new film, No Air on Venus. The movie theater is having a special guest show up after his film and a Q&A. The movie was actually quite good and a bit pretentious. Afterwards, he comes out and talks about the industry, his career, and advice. If you want to be good, you just gotta make a goddamn good film. And I've made some goddamn good films. Of course, my first film? Oof, you'll never see that. Some people at the Q&A laugh. However, let's get some questions from the audience. Suddenly, he points at you. Yes, you there. How to get started. Oh yeah, how do you even get started in film? Ah, uh, the most important question, however. That's the hardest to answer. There's film school, but it's still fairly young. And every day it gets easier to make your own films. And in the industry, it wants to keep you out. So short answer, get lucky. Long answer, spend every day working towards it. So advice for all you young little bips. Start small, understand you're going to suck, and don't let anyone tell you you're wrong. A few more questions come after that, but the Q&A finishes soon enough. Oh, I didn't mean to do that! Oh, so mad. Are we gonna do the clown work? Like, I hate when stuff like that happens. Yeah. I probably don't even have enough to do one thing with the clown work. Yeah, it's 30.
going on a trip will use the remainder of the turn. You won't be able to spend any remaining action points to schedule on these other activities. You really want to go, yep. That was fun. It hits you like a skunk's tail to the face as you make your way down the high school's halls. Someone's smoking a lot of weed. Is it Jane? Is it Jane? I think I'm kind of Jane in the same way. Smells pouring out of the girl's bathroom. Or is it the, the girl? Just then the door to the bathroom opens and... Oh, you again. Stock much? Everyone can smell what you're doing in here. Whatever. You gonna be cool about it? I, I'm not the type to tell a teacher, but I don't like it. Uh, of course. Like, whatever. Good. Luca brushes past you and down the hall. So just when it seems she's about to disappear from, disappear from view, I would not even go in here if I smelled stuff like that. Hey, what's your name? Shorty. See you around, Shorty. Vivica walks off, the smell of weed slowly disappearing. Me and her are probably not going to be friends. We've got the lobby, the bathroom. Move on, learning mats. Before we do anything, let's... Do our brain map. We still need to get the SAT book. We're supposed to be rule 40. I guess we're gonna at some point have to do that funny, but it might be too late. has become a regular feature of your walk home since middle school. This evening, before you reach the pond, you hear a familiar voice. Nate is sitting cross-legged on the grass, he's back to you. That's not yours. You strain to see who he's talking to. A duck? But all you can see are a group of squirrels. Surely not. I'll just say hello. You approach cautiously so as not to scare Nate. Hey, Nate. He turns in surprise, dropping a bag of nuts on the ground. Whoa, shorty, hey. You look down as one of the squirrels starts dragging that full bag away. Uh, darn. He yanks the bag back. The squirrel scurries a few steps, but then turns. It's clear it doesn't seem to be afraid of Nate at all. He said that's not yours. Honestly, so greedy. You carefully sit next to Nate. Some of the squirrels eye you warily. Nate, I know you're going through something, but I want to help. Why is that? I care about whether you're happy. Are you happy? There's a pause. You're not sure if Nate is about to leave, but... Suddenly he hugs his arms and speaks again. I'm the reason my mom and dad broke up. What? Nate, Nathan, that's... And now they fight over where I should be sleeping. Because neither one of them wants me around. And why would they? A reminder of what they messed up. He rests his chin on his knees, holding his upper arms tighter still. I don't know what to say, but I don't think that can be true. For a moment, it looks as though Nate is about to argue at this point. But as he turns to you, an emboldened squirrel scoops up his shins. Any anger is quickly lost in a moment of hilarity as the squirrel pauses. Perch atop Nate's raised knees. Well, you're a bold one. I suppose you're gonna tell me I'm wrong as well? You see Nate smile warmly as the squirrel twitches its nose. Deciding that there are no snacks left there after all, it scampers back down. I don't think you're wrong. I don't know I don't know enough about you to say that. I just I hate knowing you feel that's the truth. Yeah, I know. Thanks. I don't think I did anything. Sometimes that's the most someone can do, you know? All you can do is watch Nate walk away. I think we have a happy ending in all this. We can still build blanket forts. We're 14, it always feels like we're older. <sighs> Let's see here. Man, we gotta do clown stuff. You have 
haven't been hanging out with Jake much since high school started. That is, until you get a call one day. Jake's hurt. Shocking. What? He won't let me take him to the hospital. Can you meet us in the park? This is a tough one. Tell the adults you're meeting the park. Ugh. I'll assess the situation. I'll go to the park. When you arrive, Jake is there looking a bit pale. We need to get you to the ER. No, that's a scratch. Jake pulled his shirt up. It's not a scratch. However, it doesn't look light and threatening either. He has a fairly long knife cut. You should see the other guy. Go to the hospital. Jake, this is stupid. I, I can make up some story about how I was playing with a knife. Listen to them. They're making sense. Jake looks between the two of you and sighs. Fine. You wusses. He lets you take him to the hospital. The ER patches him up, calls his parents. You want to tell us what happened? The guy was up to no good in the area. I convinced him to leave. Did you hurt him? Look, more at me and a few others. We decided we're sick of some of the stuff we have to deal with. You know, the dealers, the taggers, the muggers, the bad stuff. Just run them out. I just want to keep the streets safe. Found some people who agree. Uh, that sounds like a good game. I was about to say the same thing. <laughs> Whatever, they're the only people trying to do anything. I mean, I kind of get the feeling, because when, like, the staff and the teachers and the police don't do stuff, it can be frustrating. You got stabbed. Guy talks stuff, he got hit. He'll be fine. Ran scared. There has to be better ways to do that. Ways that don't involve getting hurt. Can't be afraid of danger if you're going to make the world a better place. Those punks around here should think twice. I don't know, man, this... Could be a cop instead. A pig? They're a bigger part of the problem. Or a lawyer or something. It takes like a billion years to get a law degree. Look, you don't need to support this, but just uh, neither of you get it. Buddy looks at you worried. You look back at him the same. I won't get hurt again, don't worry. You both worry. And then we went to work as a clown. We're making money. We have a grip with skill slot. As you pass through the school lobby, you hear concerning chatter. It hasn't come out for a while now. With an impending sense of deja vu, you approach a small group of students. One boy looks worried, speaking with the others. I asked him if he was okay, but... Am I crazy, or is this buddy? It's like buddy. What's going on? The group turns to you. Oh, here's his friend, right? Maybe he'll talk to you? How long has he been in there? I don't know. You look towards the bathroom door. He's been here before, in middle school. Back then, Nathan had emerged eventually. Check on As you said, I'm his friend. I'll head in. You can go. The boy looks at you and eyebrow raised. You're gonna go into the Ben's room? I'll grow up. I don't think it matters, do you? He looks a little taken aback at that response. Sure, sure. I mean, I don't care, but it's kind of gross. I'm sure I'll go. Oh, jeez. This is why I don't like public bathrooms. Nate? Nathan? You were shuffled from behind a bathroom stall's door. Shorty? That you? Yeah, it's me. I'm here. Are you okay? More shuffling sounds. You think you hear something small fall to the ground? A pen? Uh, yeah. I'm fine. You doing drugs? You getting into trouble? You sure? No. Open the stall door. Nate, should I come in there? If we ask him, it kind is not a good idea because he's going to hide it. I don't know. I don't know. You walk towards the stall door. Nate, I'm going to open the door. Can you unhook the latch? For a while, you're not sure he'll comply. But you hear this, finally hear the small click of the latch and push gently on the door. Nate is sitting, perched on the closed toilet lid. They don't really close much. Eyes red, skin pale. He doesn't look at you. He tugs at the bottom of his sleeve and shakes his head, avoiding your gaze. I think it might be worse than drugs. Are you sick? No, not sick. It may be a bit broken. You crouch down in the stall and look up to where he sat. There's nothing broken about you. And even if there is, we can fix it. Things don't have to stay broken. He brings his eyes to meet yours at last. He swallows, nods, and makes to stand. Maybe. I feel better now, I promise. Once again, you showed up to save me. I didn't do anything. I'm worried about you. You shouldn't be. I'm... He stops his own thought chain and pauses. When he looks at you again, he looks more vulnerable than you've ever seen him. I'm not sure I want to be alone right now. You're not alone. Nathan nods quietly and starts towards the door. As he passes you, you're sure it's not accidental that his hand brushes yours. A small point of contact that means so much. Light synthesis. SAT writing exercises. 
New location, the hospital. Also the bath, the boys bathroom. We can, we can buy stuff. We can buy completed homework. Exam solutions. More cheat sheet, but we really need to buy that skill slot, so we're not gonna do that. Let's get out of here. Ugh. Library. This is the other bathroom. Also has a store. <laughs> Kids. Okay, let's look at the classroom door brain man. Focus more on memory, I guess. Tap the super insight neuron to reveal the entire brain map. That'd be a good neuron to get. And there it is, it's up there. We can pick whatever we want. There doesn't seem to be one of the little boar thingies either. around we might find like a knife or something but I figured it was more important to focus on him. We still gotta be a clown. Oh. Oh, after the close call you and Jake hang out more. One day while he's over at your place. Thanks for letting me hang out here so much. Oh it's Jake. I thought it was Nathan for a minute. I just hate being at home. My dad is drinking more and more lately. As if he wants to fool around. It's no big thing. I'm not sure if that's talking about the dad or just us helping him. Don't even worry about it. Come over anytime. Thanks, really. After he's over for a bit, you notice Jake's a bit twitchy. Are you on drugs? You alright? Yeah, I just am a little low lately. Low? Yeah, on. Look, don't judge me. I gotta judge you, Jake. You're getting into trouble. On what? You'll judge me. Just stuff. Some meth sometimes, cocaine a few times. It's not really a big deal. Is this through the gang stuff? Look, I'm friends with a guy I get the meth from. It's a fair deal. And it's my goddamn body. Disagree. Jake, this is um, kind of a big deal. You're not gonna narc, right? Who am I gonna narc to? No one, like, your parents don't care. Sleep. Like, sigh, but don't narc. You give a deep sigh. I'm worried about you. Don't be, I'm invincible. No, you're not. Don't get me wrong. In this situation, I really think you should tell someone. I'm just not sure who we tell. Like, his parents don't care. Because that's, that's ultimately what it goes down to. You know? Like, we can't tell his parents because they don't care. If we tell our parents, the most they can do is tell his parents, who don't care. Sure I am. He gives a big smile like it's true. You can almost believe him. He's gonna get himself killed. This book is boring. This movie's boring. Everything's so boring. The only boring thing here is your attitude. How do you plan on functioning in the world if nothing interests you? There must be something interesting out there. Surely somewhere out there, there must be some- There must be something of interest. I'm just not sure what and where yet. Seriously though, you shouldn't expect the world to interest you and entertain. You should be the one who finds interest and entertainment in anything. And how do I do that? Keep an inquisitive mind, ask yourself questions. Why does something work like this? What does it remind me of? What would others think about it? What if none of that interests me? Well, then you're a lost cause, so better hope it works. Now we gotta raise our imagination now. We still gotta do clown work too. Let's go to the car. <laughs>
I don't know how we get into creative writing. Like, I've done all this book stuff. I kind of want to look at the guy because we're just not unlocking anything. I have no idea why. Like, it feels like we, you know, like, we met, like, a guy that talked about computers. It wasn't computer skills, so I don't know. Hospital, executive action y type stuff. What about park? I mean, do cloud watch if it's imagination. school chums and people. Usual, hey or hi, how are you doing? Nothing real. Not until, hey, how's it going? Just heading home from school. Patty! 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 Oh no, quick, don't let her see. Patty, there you are. Hello, Mom. You don't have to yell. I told you I was picking you up for family dinner. I uh, was gonna hang out with my friend here, actually. You can invite them along. I'm not really the type to do so. I actually just invited uh, Patty to dinner with my own family. You did? That's all I meant. I mean, yeah, you did. Sorry, Mom. I know you said I need to make more friends. All right, hon. Have fun. You really should have paged me, though. Sorry, sorry. So sorry. I forgot. It's okay. Be home by eight. Love you. Yeah, yeah. Love you, too. Bye. Patty? It's my first name. You can call me that around my mom. Please call me Vivica at school. Don't worry. I will. Thanks for the save, by the way. My mom means well, but she, she, you don't have to. Still, thanks. You wanna uh, actually hang? Sure. Spend the afternoon hanging out at the mall. Eventually, the conversation turns to. So, uh, do you actually like poetry? Yes. Yeah. I've actually written poetry before. Poetry can be kind of cool. Yeah, I mean, I hate it. Honestly, can't stand the stuff. 
Don't you write poetry? I don't know. I do a lot of things. It's not about poetry. It's about a feeling. Or lots of feelings. I'm trying to get out. Or something. I don't know. It's dumb. Forget I said anything. Already forgotten. The rest of the evening goes by fairly quickly. However, just as the night is ending. We should hang out more. You seem pretty cool. I'll be counting. I'll think about it. Or see you around. School entrance is unlocked. We need to raise our our imagination really quick. <laughs> God, I want to go to the... I want to look around. Go to the stores and shop and stuff. General store. Theater. Zone club. Video game chess. Playing video games. I've heard people suggest that some items might unlock stuff, but I don't know. These all seem to be... So is it seriously going to turn out the reason why we couldn't unlock the creative writing path was that we didn't buy this? I'm so annoyed. <laughs> I'll brainstorm. Oh, I know. I'm going to do a bunch of creative writing if I can. Ugh, I wish I'd known, like I said. We're nearing an hour again. Well, we can't do too much with that. Oh my gosh, we have all our skills maxed out already. Can we do work? Let's see what we got here for work. Lemonade cellar is all clear. Um, we'll walk a dog. Master that. We'll do store clear. Entertain. Recom. Get more creative. There we go. You, Buddy, and Jake meet up at the Sky Tower Observation Deck. The view is great, huh? Sure is something. But he kind of motions for you to join him a bit away from Jake. Jake seems plenty happy just staring off at the city for now. What is it, buddy? I'm really worried about Jake. That gang he's running with, him and Mort, it's serious. I heard that, like, one of them died. A skinny kid from two schools over. Agree Jake's in trouble. I know it's bad, but Jake doesn't see it that way. He won't listen to me. He might listen to you. I don't know if Jake listens to anyone but Jake. Jake wanders over to you two. What are you whispering about? Ask him to leave the gang. Buddy was telling me he thinks your uh, friends are going to get you hurt. Buddy, we talked about this. Look, this is none of either of your goddamn business. We just- No, I'm done being lectured. He just leaves. I guess he doesn't listen to you either. I don't know why you thought he did.
we selling? tell you there's a phone call. A hysterical voice on the other line picks up. You gotta help me. Oh god, I screwed up big time. I don't know what I'm going to do. I wasn't expecting it to be her. Slow down, Vivica. Patty, is that you? Yes, yes, it's me. Look, you. You gotta come down to the police station and claim you're my sibling. You don't look anything alike. Uh, please. I don't have anyone else to call. I'll be there. You will? Okay, great. See you soon. With that, the phone goes dead. You arrive at the police station claiming to be Patty's sibling. It's clear the police don't believe you, but they mostly wanted to make sure Patty got home safely. Hey, um, thanks for coming. I just... I... They said they picked you up because they thought you were tagging? Yeah, they couldn't pin it on me, though. I guess I got off with a warning and my family... And my family knowing. Well, you knowing. What happened? I was tagging. Just some stupid condemned building. Stashed my stuff before they caught me. Hope it's still there. Uh, let's thank her for trusting me. Thanks for trusting me. You're probably my closest friend at the moment, which I guess is really saying something. It wasn't fair of me, I just I can't talk to my parents. I can't stand my brother. Hey, uh, can we just go for a walk or something? At least for a bit? I don't really want to go home just yet. The two of you found your way to the park. Patty's oddly silent, kicking rocks and looking for anyone but you. I hate them. Silence after that lasts for a while. I know I shouldn't, but I do. My parents, my brother. Your mom seems nice. Why? I don't really know. Or, okay, maybe I do. My parents decided to adopt when they couldn't have kids. They got me. Only, it turns out they could have kids, so they also got him. So I don't know, what does that make me? So it's not our family's fault. I don't know if it's fair to blame your family. I didn't say I blame them, I just hate them. I don't mean to hate them, but I do. I just have all this rage and I feel like I have to do things, you know, like spray paint stuff. Which is why the cops picked me up. I know you're right, I can't stop how I feel though. I like you at least. Betcha she heads off telling you that you two need to hang out again real soon. Your parents are waiting for you when they come home. They have a dour look on their faces. Kiddo, we need to talk. Yes, we need to. We need do. We both feel like you we're losing touch. We miss you. So we were thinking, we should set up a more steady family night. We'll eat, pick proper sit-down dinners and you can introduce us to your hobbies. Sounds great, huh? I'll hang out with my parents. Yeah, it actually does sound good. You guys haven't even been in this game. Like, that's probably one of my biggest criticisms. The parents are just like barely there. Oh good. I thought you were gonna tell us all. Well, uh, how about you introduce us to one of your hobbies then? Spend some time hanging out with your parents. Police station. Oh, no expectation. Perform basic ingredients ten times. This is why we don't hang out, Mom and Dad. We have, like, three days. So we have gotta end this part here. This game is kind of addictive. We've been doing this for a while. All our friends are in trouble. So, thank you for watching. Please leave a comment, and I'll catch you next time. Bye!